All right, everyone, we're back. Back into the normal routine. I think I mentioned that last time on garbage picking. I didn't take anything out, of course. Go figure. We're back. This one's ancient. This one probably lasted a very long time. is right on top easy to take off but we're back for trash picking I do have a pretty good story about this town once uh, once I kind of get into the swing of things but it's garbage day let's find some cool things gonna get up to uh, 58 degrees today right now it's 26 so hopefully it warms up here but hopefully you find some things it's making an awesome episode and Find some cool things in the trash. Let's do it. Okay. That's not what I thought it was. It's just a little better. The other thing is like something you make in pottery class. Now oh, you know, screw it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Walk it to the bin. on the right. Don't know how well that picked up, but amazing they just walked out of the road. They were in the road, they saw me driving down the road, and they just walked away. Kind of smells like a storage unit. It's a very interesting smell. That's very interesting. I don't know why it smells like that. I want to grab those bed rails that I probably should they're holding up that trash can that has no wheels which is holding up other garbage so if I take it everything's gonna just fall and probably into that road I'll take another look at it but it doesn't look like I really want to deal with a headache right now as much as I probably should deal with the headache grab this. I would grab the rest, but it's kind of a busy road. I'm really not trying to have trash fall into the road. If it was one of these like side streets, I wouldn't care too much, but all right. So I mentioned I would uh, talk a little about the news on this town. So last week when I did bulk pickup, I didn't come to this town because I was doing bulk pickup and then somewhere else, a different town. And, uh, Obviously, there's always two sides to every story. You gotta remember that. But someone was working apparently on a job site, and they used their, or they took their toolbox off their truck and set it at the curb. And someone saw it at the curb and took it. So a couple people contacted me and said, "Hey, look, were you garbage picking last week? Because on garbage day." such and such put their toolbox at the curb they're working on a job site and someone took it so it was like a huge thing not only like people just contacted me but like also in the local groups people were mentioning it and uh 
I'm kind of like in the back of my head in this town, I'm thinking like someone might be like setting up a sting because you're not actually supposed to garbage pick in this town. And the reason why is because people used to park on that main street, which I just found that last thing on, and they used to create a huge traffic problem in this town because people used to stop on that street and it'd be very, very dangerous for cars to go around. So that's why you can't garbage pick this town. But I try to be as courteous as possible and I don't obviously park in that street. I usually don't even pick up anything on that road. So I kind of think long term with a lot of these things, which is kind of the reason why I've been still been able to do this and I haven't really had any issues. But that's kind of like the drama with this town. And uh, in the back of my mind, I was thinking like maybe someone would set up like a sting operation to try to catch whoever took this person's toolbox. But I don't know what the whole story is with that. I don't know if he you know put on a trash can by accident i don't know if it was like actual legit construction site and he just put his tools there if he had his truck right next to it like i don't know any of the story and obviously there's always two sides but um, that's kind of like the current drama in this town and a lot of people on facebook were saying how you shouldn't trash pick you shouldn't do scrap metal uh if you want to do anything you should donate it you know and not to me but like to people in general like if you have scrap metal just go to the scrap yard don't put it out at the curb if you have something that you know you want to give to someone else don't put a free sign on it take it somewhere um so just kind of in the back of my head i've been kind of thinking about that all morning driving through this town usually that kind of stuff it, it doesn't bother me but it, it takes like a week or two before i get used to it I hear the garbage truck. I think the garbage truck is on the other side of this house. I am also, this is the first week I've trash picked since we had daylight savings. It's a lot of hangers. I don't need hangers. Yeah, I hear the garbage truck. It's on that street to the left. I don't know if it's a recycling truck or a garbage truck, but this is the first week that I'm trash picking since, uh, since daylight savings. Yep, you can see it. There's a the garbage man. It's a little green top to the, the vehicle right above that garage. But it's the first week I'm trash picking since, uh, I've said this like three times, since daylight savings. So I don't really, uh, let me just say this i'm out here an hour later than what i usually would be because i go based off of daylight so the garbage company starts at six i'm out here at seven the math just you know the math thing that garage down there they still haven't done anything with it it's looked like that for two years I found a lot of metal there one time. What's going on here? Oof. Where you go, a sump pump and not septic pump. That's my guess. Man, have I changed. Next time I have to change mine, I'm going to make a video on it because if you've never changed one, it's a very simple process. It's all about the tree work, and if you have the tree work, rest of it's very very simple hey look a hose wrapper upper that's a small one threw it right on top of the trash can I wonder why they did that just put out a bunch of stuff How you doing?
just for the record, I did not get bullied there out of my spot, out of picking. Um, I didn't really want anything that was on the left side. The only thing I was going to take were the shoes, but the shoes weren't sneakers, so it's like, not really what I, hey look, a Christmas tree. Holy, wow, Christmas tree. Jump packs, I don't work. Might work, might not work. The world might never know. I'm just kind of interested in these side tables, but I think there's missing. I think you're missing one. I think you're missing one. Got myself a leg. There's like these side tables. I don't know if they're corner tables or side tables. Over there. But I think there's supposed to be three and there's only two. They're kind of cool, but... I think they make a half circle. Instead, now you have a third of a circle. Or however the math goes. The legit math there, not the math mathing thing, the math. Half, third, you have two, you get it. Two, six, four, six, four, six. Now wait. piece of wood can't use that okay so another fun day in the books uh, added to the episodes we did find a handful of items today a bunch of metal got some other items here this thing looks vintage oh it's upside down it's general electronics not too vintage but it's vintage i picked up these these kind of reminded me of those that were sold at i think uh, target i think there probably should be one more Unless it's, yeah, there's probably another one that's supposed to go to the right of that horse. That'd be my guess. I don't think I left one. Maybe, I don't think so. I thought I got all of them. And they put them out front like they want someone to take them, so I don't know. Um, that's the old dog crate. There's another dog crate back there. I did also pick up some pottery. This looks like it's um, like Marshalls or TJ Maxx stuff. That would probably be a Man in China sticker, that white silver dot right there still kind of cool speaking of kind of cool i am going to uh well i'm going to an auction here in the matter of like five hours uh maybe six hours so i will have to go to the scrap yard and after the auction the auction actually starts at four four o'clock but it's an hour away um after the auction i have to come back and pack for the flea market because i'm going to lambertville tomorrow morning to sell so all this stuff has to come out and somehow I have to probably unload all the stuff from the auction before before I pack for the flea market because I know I'm, I'm going to have to sort through that stuff if I even get anything. I don't know. It's it's a toy auction so I expect the uh, the prices to go kind of high uh, but there's supposed to be other kind of contents there as well. So stay tuned for that. I know it's been a while since I've done any auction videos. They don't do as well as the other stuff on my channel but um, still going to try and mix in some other kind of content on the uh on the channel itself so auctions are going to start popping up here i think this is kind of like the first swing of things when it comes to auctions this is not uh it is an auction house it is not an estate auction uh, and the difference there is that this is like an auction company that has an auction once a week or twice a week or once a month or whatever it is but it's at a set location so That'll be the next video. Stay tuned for that. Other than that, it was a fun day of grabbing stuff out of the trash. If you guys enjoyed the video, as always, hit the like button so I know you enjoy this kind of content. And uh, subscribe down below if you want to see more videos just like this. Catch you guys next time for our next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. It'll be something fun. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.